Hello everyone, Shoestring here. Had several questions recently on the hub right here, which is also officially, of course, called the 400 watt universal connector that Sar Harbor Freight has. Lots of people appear has been having problems making this function, so I thought I'd sit down and have a real quick video showing everyone the important points. Now, I'm using just several small solar panels that you can see here. This is my 45 watt, three solar panels here. I have it connected, all three of the panels connected into a Harbor Freight connector, which many of you have seen before. It's really simple. Then I have this 1.5 trickle charger which comes in really handy also. And I have them plugged into right here, into the hub. And for those of you that haven't used the hub before, which is, of course, also called the 400-watt universal solar connector, I have an information sheet I got from Harbor Freight right here when I picked mine up. Remember, I don't buy anything just to show videos for. I don't make any money off this. I show you things that I know work because I do it. And that's what I'm showing you. This is just the sheet on it. If someone would like to pause, see what's here, and see if this is any interest to you, then... um. Feel free of picking one up if you want to connect a lot of different solar panels together. Just remember, don't go over 400 watts and make sure whatever charge controller you're using can handle at least 500 watts, just to be on the safe side. All right? They have the standard Harbor Freight connectors, some people call disconnects. There's different names for them. Unplug one. See what it looks like. Just like that. Just like you'd expect. Connection plugs right in. Up to here. See if I can get a close up for you. See how that looks like the connector. Then it slides right in. They all look like that, all around the hub. Here's the important part. Right over here, one of these outlets say output, right there. Only one of them says that. The output right here is what has to go into the charge controller. And this is also a Harbor Freight charge controller. People have seen me use this many times when I'm showing how to use Harbor Freight equipment. So it's the same as any other time you would connect to the charge controller, except with the hub, you must use where it says output. That connects right here, connects to the charge controller, and of course, solar. Because all, all the hub is doing is connecting different solar panels so you can collect solar energy a lot of different ways. All right, and that's all it's doing. You have many connectors around here. Just do not go over 400 watts. That's all it will handle. This will handle 400 watts. The charge controller here will handle 500. And as you can see, it's working just fine, 12.5. Then, of course, it goes from the charge controller into the battery, just the way we've seen many times. Anyway, this is just a short one. I wanted to show everyone the most important part when you're dealing with this hub right here is output. The output goes to the charge controller. The rest of your outlets can go to different types of solar panels. 
All right. So if you have any other questions, you want me to take more things apart and take a look at it, let me know. Please subscribe and like. And of course, comment. I do a lot of these videos by people commenting. So tell me what you like, what you don't like. Hit that little bell, and every time I put out a new video, you'll be able to see it. Okay, so shoestring out.